Hi there, my name is Fred Poirier and today I am super excited to present you a new and very special piano book instrument. It is called Spring Chimes. It is available for free, of course, and before I tell you everything about it, here is how it sounds. Okay, great. So first question, what is so special about spring chimes? Well, it is what I call a super instrument. Basically, it's an instrument made from other instruments. When I was creating my previous instrument, whole sow, I loaded up some piano book instruments like Dan Keen's Frozen Glock as a reference point. In the case of Frozen Glock, the thing I really wanted to match is the awesome playability. And obviously, when my instrument was finished, I tried to layer also with a few piano book instruments. And this is the moment I got the idea to go beyond layering two or three piano book instruments and try to push it further. And I ended up with 14 of them. I searched in the fabulous collection of piano book free sample packs with all these great vibraphones, glockenspiels, tongue drums and metallic fan sounds to create a super bell-like instrument. When you try to play 14 instruments together, depending on how fast your computer is, it can become glitchy quite fast. So I thought, why not try to render this as a new instrument? And that's how the idea of Spring Chimes was born. To create the main patch, called Ensemble, I used several techniques you might find useful. My goal was to create a sense of room and performance. So the first thing to do was to place the different instruments in the stereo field. Next, I reduced the range of some instruments to avoid some frequency buildups and did a bit of EQ cleaning. To get this performance feeling, I used Logic Scripter, a very powerful tool for the next couple of tricks. First, I wanted less instruments to play at low velocities and more at high velocities. With Scripter, you can link the velocity of a note you play to a CC channel. So on some instruments, I linked the velocity to the channel 7 volume. This way, at low velocity, these instruments cannot be heard. This really helps to create different dynamic layers and expand the playability of the final instrument. Then, at this point, when you play a note, every instrument is playing exactly at the same time, and this is not what we want. We want to give a sense of performance with players eating not exactly at the same moment. This will give a feeling of humans performing together. So with Scripter, I introduced a bit of random delay on each instrument. Some of them have a very low amount of delay, like 10 milliseconds, to keep a coherent starting point. But some of them can have up to 70 milliseconds of latency. This way, each time I play a note, it is a different set of random delays, so it feels like a different performance, and this is very useful to create different run robins. On top of that, a few effects. A very small amount of compression and a bit of EQ, no extreme values here, the goal was just to glue everything together. Then I sent everything in three different reverbs, first one is very short, second one is medium, and third one is longer. Like compression and EQ, the idea here is more about gluing every instrument together and give this feeling that everyone is performing their instrument in the same room and not sucking the samples in reverb. So I kept the reverb volumes very low, it's more about feeling it than hearing it. 
I did a lot of versions to achieve the right balance between the dynamic layers, the random delay latency, and I think the final result is quite pleasing. I decided to go with four dynamic layers and two round robins for this one. In theory, I could generate dozens of dynamic layers and round robins and create a very large instrument, but I wanted to create more patches and try to keep the whole package under one gigabyte. The next two patches are the half sections, soft and bright. For the soft one, I muted half of the instruments to keep only the most mellow ones so mainly the vibraphones and the softest sounds. The half section bright patch is the other half of the instruments you have all the glockenspiels, tongue drums, and all the very sharp and bright phone sounds. Very effective patch to cut through the mix. Next one is blooming. This is a long patch, only a few instruments are playing randomly the note and the note one octave up. It has two dynamic layers and you can crossfade between them using the mod wheel. Next one is Rainfall, a bit like Blooming, but this time with everyone playing randomly the note, no octave up this time, but each instrument is playing faster, so it is more crowded. Again, the mod wheel crossfades between the dynamic layers. Last but not least, spring pads, with six different signals made from the original samples. You can control the volume and panning of each pad. In this ensembler and in contact, you can switch off the signals you don't need in order to have less samples playing at the same time. Your CPU will thank you. And thanks to the fabulous work of Owen Bollig, the contact version even have a randomized button. This project is of course something collaborative. And because these are not my samples at the beginning, well, this instrument will not be published on my Pianobook account, but on a special account 
So if you download, use and enjoy this instrument, please consider a donation to our fundraiser. I will put a list of the instruments I used in the description of this video. Remember that if you enjoy Spring Chimes, it is because of the amazing work of the Piano Book community. So don't forget to check these instruments on their own. If you find this sample pack useful, please tell me in the comments. I already have some ideas to create more super instruments like this one with different kinds of sound. Please excuse me if I mispronounce your name, but I would like to say a huge thank you to Dankin, Connor Sochak, Tim Stimson, Stephen Talamy, John Mayer, Florian Hirschman, Arya Jones, Liam McLean, Richard Lowes, Andrew Finch, Terry Frost, and Sam Ekoff. A special thank you to Dave Elowitz, of course, and a massive thank you to Owen Bolig for the amazing contact version of this instrument. Thank you for watching this video, uh, more content is coming up, so please subscribe to the channel. Take care, stay safe and have a nice day, bye bye.